Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been asked to find the equation of the inductor current for the given circuit. So here we have been given that since a long time, this switch is in the closed condition. So when this switch is in the closed condition, then the second branch will also act as a short circuit. And before the time t is equal to zero, since the circuit is in this condition since a long time, so we can say that the circuit is already in the steady state condition. And as you are aware, in the steady state condition, this inductor will act as a short circuit. And in this condition, this inductor current is equal to 10 volt divided by 1 ohm that is equal to 10 ampere. So this will be the inductor current just before the switch is getting opened. So we can say that this current IL is equal to IL zero minus that is the current through the inductor just before the switch is getting opened. So now let us see the circuit once the switch is getting opened. So in this condition the circuit will look like this. Now as you are aware the inductor opposes the instantaneous change in the current. That means just after the switch is getting opened the inductor current will remain the same. So we can say that this IL0 minus is equal to IL0 plus. That means this IL0 plus is also equal to 10 ampere. So once the circuit will remain in this condition for a long time, then once again this inductor will act as a short circuit. And in this condition, the current through the inductor is equal to the steady state current. Or theoretically, we can say that it is equal to IL infinite. So this IL infinite is equal to 10 volt plus 30 volt divided by this 4 ohm plus 1 ohm. So this current IL infinity is equal to 40 divided by 5 ohm that is equal to 8 ampere. So in this way for the given circuit we got the IL0 plus as well as the IL infinity. Now if you observe this circuit then it is the first order RL circuit. And for the first order RL circuit, the general expression of the inductor current that is IL of T can be given as IL of infinity plus IL of 0 plus minus IL of infinity times e to the power minus T divided by tau where this tau is equal to L divided by R equivalent. So here we already know the value of the IL infinity as well as the IL0 plus. So the only thing which we need to find is the tau. And for that, first of all, we need to find the value of the R equivalent. So this R equivalent is the equivalent inductance which is seen across this inductor by considering all the independent sources in the circuit as zero. So in this condition, the equivalent resistance which is seen across the inductor is equal to 4 ohm plus 1 ohm that is equal to 5 ohm. Therefore the time constant or L divided by R equivalent is equal to 0.5 Henry divided by 5 ohm that is equal to 0.1 second. So from this we can say that the inductor current IL of T is equal to IL of infinity plus IL of 0 plus minus IL of infinity times e to the power minus T divided by tau. Now this IL of infinity is equal to 8 ampere, right? And this IL of 0 plus is equal to 10 ampere. That means this expression can be written as 8 plus 10 minus 8 times e to the power minus T divided by 0.1. That is equal to 8 plus 2 times e to the power minus 10 times t. So this is the expression of the inductor current. So from this we can say that for the given question this C is the correct answer.